Hello everyone, Melissa Brown, Jennifer Anastasi with Elite Social Management doing another one of our vlogs. Uh, right now our topic is going to be related to print media and how you feel about print media and a lot of traditional ways of doing our marketing relied very heavily on traditional sure. marketing uh, for print media. But now that social media is in place, how do you feel about um, continuing on? I feel it's still a necessary evil, but what's your take on print media? Definitely. I agree, Melissa, it's a necessary evil for now, but there are always ways that you can go a little greener with your business and still have the effectiveness uh, using your social media with your print media. Can you give me an example of a one yeah. way we'd want to do that? Definitely. So uh, uh, there's so many, so I'll try to just, you know, give you one or two today. But essentially, when you're when you're looking at your social media campaigns and your traditional print marketing, you want to always include at a minimum your social media information on anything printed. That goes for business cards, flyers, things you might put up in a store window, communications that you send out to your customers. Everything should be branded with your social media. Now, should I just put the icon that says Facebook or Twitter and then just say, follow me, find me? Right. Okay, so that's a, that's actually <laughs> a one that, that cracks me up. So, you know, one of the things that I show people, um, the mistakes we commonly see, is you'll, you'll get, you know, maybe an ad advertisement in the mail and it'll have a Facebook icon on it. And I'll hold that paper up and say, can you double click on this piece of paper? I can't double click on a Facebook icon and get to somebody's fan page. It doesn't work that way and people name their fan pages different things not everyone has an easy to remember mm -hmm. business name and as we all know Facebook likes to decide what they show you in the search results as well so they may not direct you to the page you're looking for you could find another competitor you could because you, you don't end up specifically that says mm -hmm. this is my vanity URL exactly so what we say is that you should put your vanity URL next to the Facebook logo for instance and for Twitter make sure that you have the little bird flying for the Twitter symbol, but your actual Twitter name, mm -hmm. um, definitely. Another example would be going into a lot of these check-in services. So you've got Yelp and Foursquare and Facebook, all these different places that you can check in, find specials, find deals, etc. So one of the things that, you know, obviously when you talk about couponing, traditional coupons, they bring in a print uh, Issue. They bring in, a, bring in a printed coupon, but when it comes to the four squares, the Yelps, and the Facebooks, all they need to do is unlock the deal on their smartphone, and then they bring that to the counter or to the clerk, and they can uh, extend that offer. And now you don't have to worry about reprinting because it expired, or you want to change right. a special, or something happened, and you've got a surplus of something else that you want to do right now instantly, right. without the whole long cycle of traditional print media. Exactly. You can change it on the fly. You can control the number of copies that are out there. Copies meaning uh, instances of the deal. And most of these services offer a really great business owner side where you can see metrics. How many mm -hmm. people looked at the deal? How many people use the deal? Obviously when it comes to a business to consumer presence or like a retail establishment or a restaurant, you want to train everyone in there to be able to recognize what an unlocked deal is versus uh, a locked deal. Otherwise you're going to be giving things away and they didn't meet the criteria right. but again it's just another way to go a little greener uh, in the couponing world and the advertisement mm -hmm. world and you can even see uh, you can even see this being used for all types of different businesses so um, I think with print media obviously it's a necessary evil you need to meet your customers where they're at so if you have a customer base that traditionally relies on uh, reading the physical newspaper mm -hmm. as opposed to online news well that might be a great avenue for you but put your QR codes on them put your yep. social media on them and uh, make sure you use it to its fullest potential. So it sounds like, bottom line, print media it is a necessary evil, but if you're going to make that investment, uh, maximize your investment, add your social media handles, yep. be smart about that, um, and then just continue to work on your conversion plan to get over to social media at the end of the day. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, everybody.